how to create canva portfolio design for beginners hey guys welcome in this video i'm going to show you how to create canva portfolio designs as a complete beginner so let's get into it first of all you're going to go to canva.com and you will get right here canva.com is a designing tool that allows you to create presentations edit videos you can create youtube thumbnails designs and much more we can even create websites with canva so today I'll show you how to create a portfolio design using canva.com and you can also do this for free uh, because creating an account is really easy. You can uh, create an account with your email address or using your Google account and you will get right here. So once you get to canva.com, here we have a lot of different options, but we're going to move to portfolio. So we can search for a template here for the portfolio. So let's just search for it. You can see portfolio and I'm going to select it. So here we have a lot of different templates available. You can see more than 10,000 portfolio templates available for different niches and you will select the one you are looking for and the one that you feel like is um, good for you. For instance, you want to create a photography portfolio, then maybe you can choose something like this and then we have like a simple uh, portfolio website and then we have a portfolio here. This is like a simple picture and then we will have more than one pages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually select this one right here and we can review this template. So this is a very simple design. I'm going to click on customize. All right. So here we have our template. You can see it's a very simple template that we have uh, as a portfolio, but I will actually customize it and add more things into it. Um, similarly, we have some of the other results too for portfolio. For instance, this one right here is actually pretty good. So I will customize this one and add some of the other things here. Uh, I am creating, let's say, a marketing agent portfolio. So for that, first of all, let's change the background color. So we can change the color from here. Here we have design, we have elements, upload text, projects, audio, and more. So you can select a background color and you can select any color you want. For instance, I want to go for something like this. So I will select it. Now we have this uh, right here, this element, which is a box that has been added. And I can change this color to, again, this one. But I'm going to make it a little darker, like so. So you can see this is what it looks like. Now we will change the image. So you will go to the upload section here and upload your images here. You will upload your. You can see I have already uploaded one. So I can select it. Or what I can do is I can just drag it and drop it right here. So you can see it will be added. Now we can double click to adjust the image a little bit. And this is what it will look like. So the image I feel like is not that the layout is not very impressive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it. I'm going to go to the elements here. In elements, we have a bunch of different elements to go for. I'm going to scroll down all the way to frames. And from frames, I'm going to select this circle. So once this circle is selected, let's first uh, get our image. I'm going to, you know, select it and we're going to place it in this circle. And this is what it will look like now. You can see and I'll place it right here. This actually looks much better. Then we have our this heading here. I'm going to delete this heading and we have the name. So this text actually looks OK to me. So I'm just going to customize the name here like this. Let's actually make it a little bigger. We can also customize the font of a, uh, you know, text. So you just select the text here, click on the fonts, and you'll be able to select from a lot of different fonts. Let's place this here as if kind of like a underline thing. There you go. So this is what it looks like. At the bottom here, we have a date which we do not want. And then we have this heading. So after this, I'm going to go to the text and I will be adding another text, which is going to be a subheading. And I'm going to add a marketing agent. This is like my job like this. And we will place it here so that you can see this is what it looks like. We can place it here a little bit. Or what you can do is you can add your, uh, you know, heading here too, like this. Now we can move on to the different text. So I had selected this. I'm going to actually expand it a little bit and place it here. So I'm going to add some of the headings and text here. Let's go with a body text. And here I'm going to add my education like this. Place the education text here. Similarly, let's go with another subheading. And this time I'm going to go with an experience and place the text here. You can see we have two headings now. We're going to go to this again. This time actually let's go with a body text. So I'm going to select a body text here 
and add my education here and then the experience. This is actually really easy. You can add any text you want to. So this is how you will add some text. We can, uh, you know, do a lot with a portfolio here. For instance, if I take you to design, um, in design, you will get some of the other, uh, you know, examples and with portfolio, don't go with a lot of text, I will suggest because then it kind of like turns into a resume. We don't want that. So if you want to add this, you can, uh, you can give an overview, but with the portfolio, you know cover or something like this you will just go for a simple name and the make sure to add the name a picture and then your main uh, you know job that you're going to do so this is what it looks like now what i can do is i can adjust it a little bit more if i want to uh, we can go with another image style with canva we can add different elements to a portfolio we can add different graphics we can add different uh, photos and we can even add some tables frames grids we have different collections available so you will be able to create a very professional uh, a portfolio. Once your portfolio is done, you feel like this is uh, done. For instance, actually, let's add some of the other elements to just show you guys. If you want to add a box like this, a colorful box in your portfolio, then you will just select the box from here and you will add it here, for instance, or I can make it this one pop or at the bottom here. We can go for a simple line like this. So you can see this is what it looks like. Um, similarly, if you want to add something in the background, so you can select it again. So I'm going to do that. We will just add it like so in the background of the text. So let me show you how we do that. Let's take it and place it here. Now I'm going to click on these three dots, click on transparency and make it a little bit transparent. So you can see this is what it will look like. It will give it a little shadow. Uh, so you can see now it looks way better. Uh, this is the name at the top. Let's say I want to change the font for this. So I'm going to click on fonts here and explore more fonts. For instance, this one right here, it will make it, uh, you know, bold. This one actually looks better. Then we have this one right here, which is a bold one. Then we have italic uh, and a lot of other fonts that we can go for. So this is what it will look like. Something like this. You can add different images. And once your uh, portfolio is done, you can click on the share option click on download and you will be able to download it as a PNG or you can also download it as a PDF uh, standard. So click on download and it will be downloaded. So you can see this is actually a kind of like a, a portfolio that I created from scratch. If you want to go and customize a template, you can very easily do that. For instance, I go to designs and if I want to just uh, customize this one here and within a portfolio, we actually have uh, different pages you can add more than one pages too if i wanted to customize this one all i had to do was just change the name here and change the image change the name and that's it we were good to go or you can create something like this so yeah guys this is how we create portfolio designs with canva you can also create a template if you want to you can just click on share and get a template link and share this template or sell this template as well so yeah guys this is how you create a high quality portfolio design using canva.com I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.